should stop somewhere here, maybe. Don't you think, James? Yeah. So if you just turn right and then stop, perhaps. I'm curious to see these villages and these places where we'd worked to be able to find out where people's lives have ended up, how their, how their lives have developed from a time of conflict to a time of supposed peace and whether, and whether that peace has been maintained, whether, um, whether we've done our jobs in the first place of affording people security in their, in their own country, whether they feel that they can get on with normal life. How do you do that? I'm here. Can you go and even this me please this year? I'm there. I need to break through with you, bro. Hi there. Here's James here. Hello, hello, I'm James. Hello. So yeah, so we were here on in those early days in June. Yeah. Were you here at the same That's time? Right. Yeah, he was here. And uh, what were your memories of that time? Uh, we, we were here in a concentration camp in a way. Right, yeah, it felt like that. Then we got the message from the British army that we're here, we're here and you, you should have no fear now. And then there were thousands of people here, weren't there? Around 60,000 people were here. It was very hard to have food for everyone. It was a big risk at that time. Because every night the Serbian soldiers would go and shoot in the air with their guns. And sometimes not just shooting in the air, I mean, we found people who were killed here as well. Did you ever have a chance to speak with a Serb soldier about what was going on? I was in the air and I was thinking that I was a Serb. 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 The only time that they contacted the, the Serb soldiers when there was media here, foreign media, yeah. and they were trying to give the impression that they were feeding this, these people. So they brought food at those times when the media was here. Otherwise, they, there were no chances to, to contact them, to talk to them, actually. Yeah. And, uh, and how's life now? Is it better? It's better. It's good. It's good. It's had around 200 houses before. 92 were burned from these 200. Around 70% of those burned or rebuilt now. Right. From the aid, foreign aid. And are the people still here? The, the people still live here? The people come back to this area? Yes, they include to, I told to. The majority has returned. Well, I'm glad. Uh, you know, it's, it's good to see you have a beautiful daughter. So I'm glad for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, guy. Beautiful dawn Lights up the shore for me There is nothing else in the world I'd rather wake up and see With you now Beautiful dawn I'm just changing Driving through here, weren't we? And this was just crowded with people. Yeah, yeah. Just masses of people out in the streets. Running wild among all the stars above some
You're very kind. Thank you. On the left is then one of the larger mass graves. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. A mass grave has been exhumed. A lot of people died and been buried in shallow graves here. We'd found a mass grave in Kosovo and we'd exhumed it. It was a memorial. We reburied the bodies in this graveyard and it was a temporary graveyard. So here there were temporary graves then when we came. That's what we. Yeah. They'd just okay. done them temporarily. They were just mounds of earth and, and sticks to mark the graves. Well, it's a permanent graveyard now, and they've set up a memorial, something that people can come and see. This is the road, actually, where it happened. This, this is where the tractors were coming with the refugees, and where they were stopped. And when the and they were massacre, murdered? Yeah front of the families. So yeah, most of these were, were men then here? Yeah. Um, and some boys as well? Yeah, they took yeah. all the men from the tractors. But there are definitely a few who are, you know, really young. Yeah. yeah. 18, 18 years, 19. Okay, let's wander in and have a good look, shall we? At the time, when it was a temporary graveyard, there were no faces, they were just mounds of earth. It's very different coming to see the stones themselves. Yeah. How amazing, isn't it? I think the most remarkable thing was the dates that people were born and then the dates they died, and this whole graveyard, everyone ending in 1999, every death in 1999. There aren't many graveyards like that. Tony's father was killed, and I never really asked him much about it. I didn't feel it was my place to ask him too much. Yeah, and now um, he said that they have identified him, they have found his father's body um, through DNA tracing. And I, I expect that's at least resolved something in, in his mind. Um, again, I'm not, so I don't know exactly how it all happened, but one can, one can imagine anyway. No bravery.